Lord Lynn, the Bible said that Jesus sat upon the hill, and that's how rabbis taught. But it said there was also 5,000 men, not including women, so ah. there would have been at least 8,000 They only named men. the men. They only named the men. Yes. So that means that the crowd was even greater. The, yeah, exactly. What kind of man would it take, Brian, in those days for that large of a crowd well, to you, begin following him? What was going on? Well, you remember after he preached in the synagogue, right? they said that his fame went out throughout the land ah. and when he was in Capernaum. So literally, this would have been where all of the crossroads, all of the nations would have been. And they would have been coming from uh, the Decapolis as well as from Jerusalem. And he said they were sheep without a shepherd. Isn't that mm, amazing? Yes. Because they just kept coming. They so they just were kept searching coming. for something. They were searching. And suddenly this revolutionary man was speaking in ways that they had never heard. Wasn't yeah. this just the carpenter's son? I mean, who is this man? Who is this man? And you know, that was my prayer actually coming here. Uh, it was Isaiah 11. Mm. And it said that he would give us wisdom, knowledge, mm. understanding, might, the fear of the Lord. And I said, Lord, to lead mm. your people. Let's just pray right here, because mm. I really believe that God, there are a lot of people that are searching and just don't know where to get the food. Mm. And Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. Mm. Father, we pray here on the same mountain of Beatitudes. And Father, we realize that that was a moment in time and it was special, it was specific. But as a point of contact today, we pray for so many sheep that are out there Lord, those that are in the house church movement, those that are, Lord, without a, without a pastor, those that, Lord, watch us daily and, Lord, call in and, and pray. I pray now, Lord, that they would be shepherded. I pray that they would be comforted. You said, comfort, comfort my people, saith mm -hmm. the Lord. Lord, that you would do this in Canada, that you would build your church and that you would build your people into a strong flock. Oh, in mm -hmm. Jesus' name, God. Mm -hmm. This is pretty cool, Brian. Yes. We're walking up the mountain of blessings. The mountain of blessing. <laughs> blessing upon blessing upon oh, blessing. Every you. step. Just there's one some, more blessing. There's some thistles and thorns. <laughs> but, but it's all worth it. You know, when those people... Even, you know, a marlin. Oh, but when you catch them... It was a turning point for so many. It was. They saw that this, this was a man who spoke like no other, who came with words of hope. Yes. And isn't it amazing that no one that came to Jesus left the same? Yes. Whether he touched them, whether they had a healing, when they heard the word, they yeah. were changed. And that's what's happened in our lives. That's right. You know what? It's such a privilege to be able to climb Mount God. <laughs> Mount God. <laughs> yes. Ah. That's what I call this. Okay. I got to get me a rock. I'm going to make sure right. that I got this oh, rock. Oh, okay. I'm so going to get a rock, too. I'm taking this with me. Get your one, Lord. I hope then. it's legal. Yes. Oh, it is. I don't want to be arrested when I got a rock in my pocket at the airport. <laughs> I got a don't rock. Don't worry. I'm bringing this home. The whole land is full Just of rocks. Just a piece so of it. I don't think they're going to miss it. No. Let's go right down there as well. All right. Yeah. That looks like the place where the little fat boy had his lunch. <laughs> where he had the... <laughs> Do you mean with the fishes and yeah, the bread? Yeah, the two fish and <laughs> the five Was he fat? Milk. I don't he had know. to be. He's no. the only one that had any food. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else was hungry. You know what? Whatever he was, he's a beautiful kid, and and his little his little lunch bucket yeah. it fed and and had one of the greatest miracles Jesus ever did, right? Well, I guarantee that it was the best leftovers he ever had. Well, sure. I wonder if there was <laughs> some hummus in there. Because he gave up his two, and he ended up getting baskets full. Oh, amazing! So you can't give up God anything take, and expect God not to give. I it always back. think God will take our little lunch bucket, make a real feast out of it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Hua. Hua. Beautiful. A That's city amazing. on a hill cannot be hidden. Mm. <laughs> so Let great. your light shine. This is where he, he declared that. Mm. I wonder if we could even begin to comprehend the magnitude of his, the love in his voice. You know, like how incredible his demeanor was. Well, People were were taken back, not by his his earthly looks, but simply by his the beauty that emanated from God Almighty. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, or it's not really the Bible, but there's a song that said, the voice that he sings, hmm. it's the birds hush their singing. Hmm. <laughs> right. That's one of the old songs of the faith. I come 
to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses and the voice I hear calling on my ear the sun of God discloses and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me that I am his own and the voice I hear calling on my ear none other has ever Hmm. One last look there, Brian. Yep. Wow. And Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Went to solitude places to pray, and he saw the disciples on the river, yeah. on the lake, straining at the oars. And we and he all came need walking that. to them on their fears. Hmm. And then he used his authority, and he said, "Peace." Be still. Hmm. Wow. And you know what else? He said, greater things than these you will do.